Aga Khan Award has a, an incredible reputation of solidity, of legitimacy, and of importance, of meaningfulness in a world that is constantly changing and that is uh, so challenged by political, environmental, social, cultural issues. It's the only award that is rooted in social values and not only in um, an architectural image or structure or particular um, architectural artifact. It concentrates on the tangible part of architecture, but what makes it unique is that it goes beyond that into broader issues of identity, diversity, uh, pluralism, cultural issues and uh, values and quality of life. We interview the architects, we interview all the stakeholders, the users, um, uh, the managers, uh, the surrounding neighbors, and we try to find out as much possible about the quality of the building. But when we speak about the quality of the building, it's not only the physical side, it's also, also the social impact of the building on its uh, immediate neighbor, but also in the, in the city or in the country. They're the ones who actually come back with data that is very important for the, the selection and that makes it unique to any other award in the world. So the jury in itself expands through that. So we're like nine people, but all of, you know, all of a sudden we become double that. I think the uh, final selection again captures with the great imagination what's going on in the world of built environment, which the award tends to do consistently. And one more time, it seems to have grabbed a really good bundle of six projects that are, I think, a, a fantastic measure of how design and construction and quality affect people. There were 20 projects shortlisted for this uh, cycle of the award. All 20 were very powerful projects. Um, it was difficult to tell which ones would win and which ones would not, because they all had something very serious and very rich to offer. And the final six were truly remarkable projects. Uh, they addressed um, improving the quality of urban life. They addressed dealing with uh, the past. They addressed dealing with marginalized societies. And in many ways, they address what the architectural award or this architectural award is about, which is really improving the quality of life for people through high quality interventions in the built environment. We wanted to think architecture as uh, an intervention in an increasingly complex and challenging world. And uh, the projects, I think, that were selected all embody that. They think of people's place in the world. They think of the commons, the shared spaces, and how they can be multiplied over time. They also project a couple of themes that are of extreme importance in today's world, in today's environmental crisis, in today's inequality crisis, in today's crisis of displacement, and in the issue of culture and how culture has to play a role in society. The jury got a sense that what they were doing as part of the making of choices was that they had total freedom to exercise their opinion, to debate different points of view, and then to make a choice based on consensus. And I think this time the process worked really well, and I think everybody was very happy with it.